Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Busting Rainbow Six Siege. So yet again, we're busting more myths for Operation Voyage, and we've also got some community submitted myths as well. So let's get started. You can melee Oryx while he charges at you. So this was submitted in the comments on the last video and I thought, pretty damn good myth, we've got to try this and see what happens. So my very first attempt, as you've seen there, I actually did manage to melee, but it missed. Now, at first I was thinking, hmm, maybe I'm just messing this up or maybe it's impossible to do. Maybe you can't actually melee Oryx while he's in his animation, which would make sense. But I kept swiping at him and I kept seeing my knife come up and I'm thinking, yep, yeah, I'm not hitting him. But I was starting to slowly get there and it didn't take me too long. It only took me a few more attempts here to realize that all I had to do was aim a little bit lower because he does hunch his head down when he charges. So I started to catch on to that and decided right now to aim down a little bit and I got him. Now this is actually surprisingly easy to do. Once you kind of learn the basics of it, you can just melee Oryx when he charges at you without too much hassle. And it's amazing for someone like a shield operator because of course Oryx is a massive counter towards shields, but actually if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, I would say with this tactic, there's a really good chance now that the shield operator will win and Oryx will lose because it is so easy to repeat. And yeah, it's gonna be obviously if you just miss it, you're dead, but yeah, you can suddenly now as a shield operator totally counter Oryx and potentially win that one-on-one -on -one battle that you would have lost if you didn't know all this information already. So that is confirmed and it's a pretty damn impressive little weakness that he's got. Yana's hologram can stop bullets. So after the last episode, I started to think, wait a minute, the hologram gets destroyed by a single bullet, but where does that bullet actually go? So here's Vigil with his machine pistol shooting at Yana, who's got our hologram directly in front of her. I take no damage because it actually did stop the bullet. Now we're gonna test with the Bosch G with ACOG next. Now, if you watched a previous video of mine, which is about the new hitboxes and bullet penetrations, then you'll know that the Bosch G has maximum bullet penetration. And as you see, it easily went through both the hologram and Yana's head and hit the wall behind. So a very capable round, of course. And here is the layout of the bullet penetration. So shotguns and machine pistols have no penetration, which means if they hit a limb, they will not continue through to hit anything else. This is except for slug fire and shotguns. Then you have simple penetration, which is assault rifles, SMGs, pistols, revolvers, and LMGs. Then you've got full penetration, which is designated marksman rifles, sniper rifles, and the slug firing shotguns. So if I'm thinking right here, that means that all the non-penetration and all the simple penetration will not result in a bullet going through the hologram and hitting someone else. Only the full penetration bullet can do that. So I decided to test this out and see if my theory was correct. So we've got SMG here, we've got Yana's hologram, if we headshot with Yana directly behind, Yana is uninjured because it did actually stop the bullet. Then we've got Kali sniper rifle. Of course, this has probably the most penetration in the game and this is gonna be no surprise that there is going to be a massive hole behind where the hologram was standing because of course it went straight through. So I'd test this with the player as well. So as you can see, it does uh, go right through and down Yana, but it's bugged because it takes a little bit of time for Yana to actually go down. So oddly enough, getting shot through her hologram actually has this weird effect on her. So I've reported that as a bug. We'll see if it gets fixed. Then I thought we'd try with assault rifle as well. And like I say, this has simple penetration, so it can't go through multiple characters. And it's the same here. It actually gets stopped by that hologram. So the hologram is surprisingly solid and far more solid than I would have guessed. Here we've got the DMR. So this is, if you already guessed, gonna go right through both holograms and continue through the wall as well. So there we go, that's, to me, that's a surprising one. I don't know if tactically you can really use it that well, but certainly being behind the hologram might well save your life in some circumstances. Although it will be very rare, it actually is totally confirmed. And to me, this is actually quite an interesting feature. Oryx is a master at hiding. So what we're gonna do here is kind of hide and seek with Oryx and try and figure out where he is. I've been using this tactic on the test server and it's amazing when it does work and it's an enjoyable tactic to use with him. So Oryx is here. Try and see where he is. We'll also switch over to a new one and we'll try and figure out where he is as well. So we're gonna go upstairs. He's in this room somewhere. See if you can figure it out. 
Now, if you already know this tactic, you already know where he is, but it is amazing how well this works. So, Oryx is simply hiding in the barbed wire. And I love how effective this is. It is so wet. He, like, he blends in so goddamn well. It is so good. Now, of course, when this season first goes live, it's going to have a lot of people probably doing this. So it won't be very effective because people are going to get wise to it quite quickly. But I think once time goes on and his pick rate drops, this will actually be a tactic that people can use and I think it will work. So that is confirmed. Oryx can get downed while climbing. So I was really curious about this one because if you're repellent and you take enough damage to get downed, you'd just die. So I was kind of curious what would happen with Oryx if he gets shot and then gets downed. And I was actually surprised to see this. I totally thought he would just fall to his death, but he does actually get downed. I even did it during the animation of jumping up as well to see what would happen. And again, I was surprised he actually does get downed. I like this. I like the fact that this was added in because it could have just been an insta kill, just like repels. But I'm happy that, yeah, he is actually able to get downed while climbing. Oryx versus Quick Enter. So I thought about this and I thought, wait a minute, what happens with Oryx when you're going in? Because obviously we've tested a few different melee things here. And Oryx will die. Interestingly, the effect of the knockback does go on to the attacker at the same time. So it's kind of a curious interaction. But certainly as an Oryx player, do not charge anyone that is quick entering, that is busted. Now we've got another community submitted myth, and this is quite a good one. Can you pass through an invisible vigil when you're in Yana's hologram? So of course this hologram is basically just a glorified drone, so vigil when he goes invisible to cams also goes invisible to the hologram. And as you can see, he is solid. So what happens when he's invisible? Well, he's still solid, you still can't pass through him. And I guess it could give away his position if you can actually walk into him. So that is busted you cannot walk through him when he's invisible in Yana's hologram. And the final myth today is another community submitted one which is the battle of the hollow girls. So just to see the interaction between Yana's hologram and Alibi's hologram. So as you can see Alibi's hologram will ping the correct Yana, not the hologram she will ping the original one. And even if you decide to disconnect your drone with your hologram immediately, you can see that the pings still persist for the maximum amount of time. So that is confirmed. Alibi's hologram will ping the correct Yana. Anyway, guys, that is all the myths for today. If you want to watch more Mythbusters, I actually have one out on the new shrapnel mechanics if you want to see that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you've got any more myths in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time.